Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing your upcoming weekly tarot. This is going to be for September 20th through the 27th. All right, so the way we're gonna do this today, I'm gonna pull a first layer of cards out just to get an idea of the general energies happening for you guys this week. I'll put up a photo of those cards as well. And then we're gonna go in together and clarify each of these energies. All right, so let's start with that first layer. This is going to be for Cancer, September 20th through the 27th. A few more shuffles and we're gonna go right into it, Cancer. Let's see here, two more. All right, Cancer, let's see what's happening. The situation, challenging you. Where's your mind at? Your approach when it comes to this? External influences. And then the near future outcome, what's coming towards you. All right, there's a general sense of some kind of loss or disappointment here. Something just really not turning out the way you'd hoped. But of course, we're going to go in and clarify these energies. As the center of your reading, we have that Queen of Wands. So there's something here that's needing your nurturing. It's needing your attention right now. When we clarify, we'll get a better idea here. But in the challenge position, we do have the Five of Cups. So something really is just like there's some loss here. There's some regret here, some disappointment here. And it's just like, you know, fives in numerology always speak of change. But there's just a kind of just like this character in the card looking over at this, you know, just kind of focusing right now on what went wrong, maybe replaying it a bit in your head. Um, speaking of in your mind right now, we do have that King of Wands, though. This is a very adaptable, flexible energy here. You know, it's a visionary type of energy as well. Um, your approach, we do have that Three of Swords here, so it could also be an emotional release. We'll know more when we clarify. In your environment, though, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. So this could very well be a job opportunity coming your way for some of you. At the very least, it's a seed for, to change something in your reality, right? You'll know what it is. It could be health-related as well, but it's something that's going to get you inspired. It's going to get you motivated. It's going to get you excited, guys. Um, and then coming towards you guys near future outcome, we have that four of pentacles. So we're going to clarify these. Let's start with the central energy here. Situation of the week. We have that queen of wands, you know, she's really a natural born leader, just like that king of wands. You know, she speaks of she's very spiritual as well. You know, she has a healthy relationship with her shadow side, which is indicated by this black cat here as well. Um, but let's see here. She also has a really cooling effect. So if things feel hot as well, what I love about her is she never fights fire with fire. She instead has a very calming and cooling effect on a situation. And I feel like that's a little bit of what's happening here, especially with like that five of cups and three of swords energy. All right, let's see. Let's clarify this queen of wands, you guys. What is this queen of wands about? All right, one more. Let's, ah, let's see. We have the Hermit here and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's a reboot for yourself that you're needing. Um, I feel like you're needing to take the lead here as well when it comes to this. But basically this week, I see whoever this is resonating with, there's you taking a step back right now to kind of analyze what's happened. Because there is some heartbreak here. There's some letdown here. There's some pain here. And I see you taking a step back just like the Hermit with that Queen of Wands here. This is your way of taking the lead, right, in the situation. You're taking a step back to take two steps forward. But you're needing to take a step back to analyze everything that's happened. To figure it out, to kind of decompress it, right? But you're, you're, you're taking some time alone with your thoughts. You're taking time alone with your thoughts to figure out how to best move forward because there is an Ace of Wands here. And this is about a personal reboot, right? This is about hitting restart. This is about feeling excited about your life again. But it's a personal, personal reboot, right? There's something that's got you fired up and excited. But you're needing to go within because you've been through something this week. There's some pain here. And so I see you taking a step back this week to go within and just kind of analyze everything, see what's happening. Spending some time with your thoughts, with your emotions, looking at them, listening to them, feeling them out. Because... You are wanting to go on a new path. We have two aces here, so there is a real new beginning here, at least potential for a new beginning. But yeah, you're taking a step back right now because you've been through something. You know, the hermit comes after strength as well, so you've been through some stuff, and that's why you're needing to decompress it. Otherwise, it'll consume you, and that's the situation this week. Now, challenging that, 
challenging, challenging this going within, this inner guidance, this having really healthy analytical thought with the hermit, you know, gaining some knowledge and some wisdom. You know, is that five of cups, there's some sadness here that is like getting in the way. Some sadness here. Let's see, what's this five of cups about in your challenge position, Cancer? Okay, we have an eight of pentacles here, putting in the work. What else? Let's see. Okay. <sighs> strength, you know, and I said it too. The hermit comes right after strength in the fool's journey. And in your challenge position, you guys, clarifying that five of cups, we got that eight of pentacles and strength. You put in so much work. You've been through the ringer when it comes to some situation. Whatever this pain was, whatever this letdown was for whoever this is resonating with. You know, that eight of pentacles is... You don't know how to put in the work because there's some disappointment here. You're needing to tap into your inner strength. <sighs> You're needing patience. You're needing some compassion here. It's really a testing time for you. You've been through a lot. I mean, it makes sense. These cards make perfect sense in a challenge position for whoever this is resonating with. But you put in so much work and still something didn't turn out. So there's such a disappointment here. After all that you've done, I can feel it. Even even as I look at these cards, right, like, this character is also facing, like, this man who's put in all this work. And that's why it's just testing your strength. It's testing your patience. It's, it's There's just a real disappointment here. There's a real letdown here. After all that work, it's what it's feeling like. Okay, in your mental space here, we have that King of Wands. Again, very flexible, very adaptable. He's a bold, he'll take bold action to get what he wants, but he'll never, he'll always do it with integrity. So that's what I love about him. And do not justify means. Not for you, not right now. Let's, all right, let's clarify this King of Wands with your mind. All right, let's take you and you. Okay. <sighs> Clarifying the, f the King of Wands. We got the Five of Pentacles and we got the Ace of Swords. Some of you have been left out. There's some real like, you know, we, we have two fives here, so there's a need for change. With the Five of Cups, I always think of, especially actually, I should have mentioned this, it being in the challenge position, but it feels like, you know, we need some forgiveness here. I don't know, with yourself, with the other party. Um, and then, you know, the Five of Pentacles is feeling super left out. And you're, you're not wanting to feel that way anymore, basically, with that Ace of Swords here. You're ready to cut that out. You're ready to do what is needed to not feel left out anymore, to not feel like you don't have enough anymore, to not be seen, to not be supported, to not be recognized. You know, it's left out in the cold type of energy, right? Like feeling like nobody cares about you. And you know better with that Ace of Swords. You have that mental clarity. You got that wreath of victory here. You definitely know better. But you are ready to cut that out. Anything or anyone that is making you feel this way. Putting you in any kind of position. Threatening any kind of security or stability of yours. You're not about to have it. And like I said, you're willing to take bold action. And your mind is very flexible. Very adaptable right now. Very sharp right now. You're having mental clarity. And it's about some situations. Like I said, it could... Um, that let and even if it was financially too you're about to cut that out as well because you got this ace of pentacles here there's some pentacles here as well so if you've had some financial hardship it's on your mind and you're already knowing how you're going to overcome this you've already got a strategy you've already got a plan but again it, it totally just feels like heartbreak for most of you either way it's feeling left out in the cold like i said not supported not seen not having what you need it's like almost on a basic fundamental level, you know, just like these people are, you know, I, I believe homeless, right? But not having what you need even on a fundamental level, not having the basics that you need from a situation. Um, and, you, and you're aware of it and you're, you're done with that. Like you're not about to have it. You're ready to cut that out. All right, Cancer, in your approach, let's clarify this Three of Swords here. Let's clarify the Three of Swords in your approach. Let's see what that's about. I mean, I always think of emotional release, just the way this heart with these swords is exposed to the elements it's getting cleansed it's like stage one of healing for me when i see the three of swords you know it's coming to the surface at the very least all right let's cl clarify this energy what is this three of swords two more last one let's see we got the magician and the devil here
All right, there's a real like. You're, 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 I mean, the Magician is an action-oriented card, guys. We have the Devil here, which is a card about control as well. So I feel like you're just really... With the... There's like a controlling element when it comes to this approach, right? It's knowing, first of all, what I love is like you're in your power as well with the Magician. Knowing that you have everything you need to make anything that you want. Any outcome. You can have anything you want. You've got all that you need. Your resources, your talents. You've got it all. Um, and you're stepping into that, that like powerful energy of the magician. And if you've got something to communicate, it will come off well as well. Um, but with the devil here, it's just feeling a little bit of a controlling element as well. You know, are we letting pains of the past kind of control the approach a little bit with that three of swords for some of you? Um, not that I'm, you know, judging, but... You know, the devil is a very controlling energy and, you know, the three of swords are heartbreaks and pains. And I feel like there's something about heartbreak and pain that might be a little bit in the driver's seat with you this week in the approach. Because the magician with the devil here side by side, you know, or for others of you, you know, the devil's also a, <clears throat> people don't give the devil credit, but he is master of the material realm, right? He's so successful at kind of chaining people, even though he doesn't chain people, because he basically knows how to offer people exactly what they want. He is a master at that, right? So he's really good at kind of influencing people in his direction because he knows what to give them. He knows what they're needing, what they're looking for, right? Um, and so he's just really good at managing things, at influencing situations as well. So it's a very powerful energy as well. So there's just stepping into your power. But like I said, with the Three of Swords being here, I'm just a little worried. Is there like a little bit of pains from the past kind of controlling and navigating the situation as well all right in your environment we have the ace of pentacles let's go ahead and clarify the ace of pentacles for you guys yeah it's a real opportunity here there's like a beautiful it's you know it's something that it's going to need your your attention your nurturing you're going to need to develop this and grow it but it's just a seed but you know just like i said even if with that five of pentacles if it was work related this is a beautiful sign that something can be falling on your lap some opportunity that looks beautiful all right let's clarify this ace of pentacles but there's a chance for something new and bright something new and bright and good all right one more let's see we have the nine of wands and the page of cups all right, you're pretty tired. There's something in your environment that I feel like has been stressing some of you out, making you feel like you, you're just like a wounded warrior, just like that nine of wands, and you're needing to persevere, right? But there is an ace of pentacles coming. So there's something in your environment that's been stressing you out, making you tired, making you wanna give up occasionally, but you've still been keeping a really open and playful energy. I love that. You've still been keeping a really open and playful energy, and there is a real new chance coming your way. So it's like this dual energy. Where you're at right now has been testing you in your environment, <clears throat> making you tired, honestly, feeling like your faith is being tested, feeling like you've been through the ringer. But then in the other sense, there's this hand from the clouds coming through you guys trying to offer you this ace of pentacles. It's an ace, so it's raw potential. Only a seed to be planted, but it's something that should get you really, really fired up and excited, you guys. So you're going to go from that like nine of wands to like at that center, that ace of wands, as I said it, so crazy. Um, yeah, so you're feeling a little tired, but there's something coming through, guys, that I think is gonna relieve that stress. That being said, coming towards you guys, we have that four of pentacles. Also another card that gives off the element of a little bit of control, self-control, keeping things a little bit too close and tight to you as well. Um, could just be about budgeting, you know, maybe that's part of your master plan for some of you. But let's see what this Four of Pentacles is about. Let's clarify this energy coming towards you, Cancer. What is this coming towards you with the Four of Pentacles? Let's see. It's just a closed off protective type of energy, honestly. It's like protecting yourself, protecting your heart, protecting what's yours, your security, your safety. Okay. Ooh, we got the star coming towards you guys. I love it. Wish fulfillment. That's at least a healing period. It's a beautiful period. Let's see. Your cup is about to get full again. But yeah, it's about your chakras being aligned. That's that healing period. But there is a wish coming to life here. All right. One more. Wish come true, you guys. Let's see. All right. 
We also got that King of Pentacles. Yeah, guys, if it's work related, I feel like something, some funding is going to come through. Some investor is going to come through and notice you. Um, but there is a wish coming true. Either way, it's a healing period and a wish come true, you guys. If it's work related, we got a King of Pentacles, an investor type of energy, a Midas touch type of energy coming your way. If it isn't, there is a healing period coming and you're about to invest in yourself. There's somebody coming through who's willing to invest in you as well. But there is a wish coming. There's a wish coming true, guys. This is a wish come true for you guys. It can be a person coming towards you. It doesn't have to be work-related. The King of Pentacles is just a provider type of energy. It's very nurturing. But basically, he is willing to invest in the things that are important to him, like his family, like his business, just like this pentacle that he holds in this card. But there's a wish come true, you guys, and it's coming through with this King of Pentacles. All right. I'm going to leave it there for you guys. It's a beautiful way to end your reading is with the star. All right, Cancer, if anything resonates, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys, as always, for letting me tune into your energy, and I will see you guys next week.